My name's Danny. I'm the manager here at the Circuit Bouldering Gym. Hey there, I'm Brianna, a coach and route setter at the Circuit Bouldering Gym. I'm going to walk you through some of our safety guidelines. Welcome to the circuit. We're going to cover several things so you can make the most of your visit. To start, climbing is inherently dangerous and has risks associated with it that can get you seriously hurt. Everyone is climbing at their own risk. Please familiarize yourself with our gym rules before beginning. We have a zero tolerance policy regarding our rules. All falls while bouldering are ground falls. Climbers will fall while bouldering. Falling can result in injury and injuries can be severe. Climbers should anticipate they will fall. To help mitigate the risk of injury while falling, the circuit provides an impact attenuating surface. These are thick padded floors throughout the designated climbing areas and are considered the fall zones within the gym. Only climb over the designated padded areas. Even though the area is padded, injury can still occur. The padded floor does not guarantee safety. Also, climbing holds can spin or break, meaning you could fall unexpectedly at any time. If you notice loose, broken, or spinning holds, please notify a staff member immediately and do not attempt to fix them yourself. Beware of your surroundings moving throughout the gym. Use the red velcro line as a helpful reminder of where to walk, but this does not indicate a safe zone. Never be under another climber and avoid other climber fall zones. Keep the climbing area clear of all items. Before climbing, make sure your potential landing areas are clear of any objects and people. Also make sure the route you've chosen doesn't interfere with other climbers or their fall zone. Climbers on the wall have the right of way. Also remove any items and cover some personal effects before climbing. After completing a climb, we recommend climbers down climb to decrease the chance of injury. Do not jump off the wall. Use any holes to down climb. Ideally look for large holds or use the holes designated for down climbing. Down climb jugs are not always readily accessible. Climbers may need to traverse up, down, sideways to reach these jugs. Always have an exit plan in place before beginning a climb. In the event of a fall, climbers should spot their landing, attempt to land evenly on both feet, bend their knees, tuck their arms and neck into their chests, and then roll onto their back while engaging their neck to disperse the force of the fall. Spotting is not required and does not guarantee safety. Spotting is not a means to catch a climber, but instead to help guide the climber to the padded landing zone. At the circuit, we use a numerical scale to designate the difficulty of a climb. The higher the number, the harder the climb. Our walls range from 8 to 18 feet in height, and we encourage climbers not to climb at a height above their comfort levels or capabilities. Throughout some of the gyms, we have designated top-out boulders that allow climbers to climb up and over the boulder to finish and exit via a staircase. Topping out is not required and encouraged only for experienced climbers. Once you have topped out, immediately exit the boulder top. Parents and supervising adults are expected to know and enforce gym rules with their children. When supervising children between the ages of four and 12, the circuit asks for a ratio of one adult per four children. For children under the age of three, we ask for one adult per two children. Treat the gym like you would crossing a busy street. We recommend supervisors hold the hands of children while moving throughout the gym. Make wide turns around the boulders, walk at all times, and never be under other climbers. If children are not climbing, we ask they remain on the concrete or behind their supervising adult while they wait. Only allow one child to climb at a time. Supervisors should be actively watching and monitoring their children at all times, within a close distance, close enough to intercede if there's danger. We also ask supervisors to stay off their phones and avoid other distractions. If you need to use a phone, step away from the climbing area with your children. If these rules are not being followed, we will ask you to leave. Be respectful to those around you. Wait your turn, give other climbers space, keep your chalk contained, keep advice to yourself unless asked. We're all here to enjoy ourselves. These guidelines do not guarantee you'll be free from harm. There are many other unforeseen risks involved in bullying. If you notice anything unsafe, please let a staff member know immediately. Lastly, ask any staff member if you have any questions or need further clarification. Thanks, and have a good session. Thanks, and have a good session.